What it do, man? It's your boy Battle Truth coming to you live and direct from the Battle Truth headquarters. Let's get right off into it, man. Shouts out to Rex, man. Out of jail, man. Back on the scene doing his things. Uh, continuing to shake up the battle rap community every time we do an interview. Uh, something that's been brought to my attention, speaking of Rex. So he was on 15 Minutes of Fame speaking about how Hitman Holla gave him a call when Uncle when Unc from 15 Minutes of Fame asked him, did he have anything up and coming? So according to Rex, he got a call from Hitman Holler, wanting him to give bad news that work. And what's being said is 10K on the floor, when it take all. Word got around to the TMT Money, Money Team Battle League about this situation and they didn't like what they was hearing. Let me just tell you, they didn't like what they was hearing about that situation. They felt it very disrespectful for Rex to even be considered some type of offer like that, seeing that this man is literally Mayweather's favorite battle rapper. As a result of him being Mayweather's favorite battle rapper, he looked at it as being also disrespectful as a way by which, I'm talking about the money team battle league, looked at, this is being complete disrespectful, seeing that Rex is a legend, Hall of Famer, pioneer to battle rap, to offer $10,000 when it take all battle as if <laughs> he could possibly walk away with nothing if potentially are being said to have lost the battle. The disrespect come in as not respecting the position and person he is and what he meant to battle rap, by which $10,000 ain't nothing. In fact, what I'm hearing from inside sources is that they would pay him $10,000 not to even take the battle and just remain to be healthy like he is. For the one of the first times in Rex's career, he is actually healthy. Lost a lot of weight, got his win back, and really in a position where which his head is clear and he's taking battle rap serious. And they definitely want to capitalize off this. Even to the point that, again, they would rather pay him 10000 not to even take the battle. Ain't that something? Also... Hitman Holler will have to up the ante, if anything. And this is one of the reasons why um, I like what's about to happen on the TMT Money Team Battle League that coming. Putting battle rappers in a position where which money is going to be available for a lot of these battle rappers. They bringing in money. Not just to flourish and just, uh, flourish and just give out to people who's, who's not worthy of it but to put people in a position to win, that your talent could actually pay off for you, and that you don't have to uh, 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 do nothing to, you don't have to go through all these jumping jacks and all these obstacles and all this training process in order to get a bag. The bag is already there. The bag is already available. And if you get down and do what you're supposed to do, it's more to be given to you. But you getting the bag out the gate, off the back. You don't have to prove you can rap. You can get down and you can perform. You know why? Because they're reaching out to you already knowing that's what you can do. If you couldn't do that, they wouldn't be reaching out to you. And I'm telling you, this card that's being put together is crazy, stupid crazy, to the point that no matter what Smack would try to do, he can't even block it. Trust me when I tell you this. The, the, the things that's being put together, the matchups and the names that's being put together is battles y'all want to see immediately and don't have to wait that long. Well, you can see it immediately right off the bat. It ain't got to be two, three years down the line, building up this false tension of animosity. The moment the heat is on, we want to see it. This is battle rap. This ain't boxing. This is rap. Soon the rivalry starts and it's heated, let's go. Ain't no, they've been brewing for two, three years. They supposed to battle four, five years ago. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. 
You got to pay a brother brother like Rex just to show up. You got to pay him just to show up. All the work that brother then put in. So I understand it. It make a lot of sense. And as being Hall of Famers and Legends and Battle Rap, this how you're supposed to be moving. You're supposed to move like that. 10K? What is 10K to me? Going up against a bad news, a winner take all. And it's not even guaranteed money for me? Absolutely not. My status alone demand that. That's just on the show up. That ain't doing me a favor. I'm keeping it 100. 10K on the floor is an insult when it's not guaranteed money. You're going to have to up the ante plus that. I'm keeping it 100. That's how they looked at it. That's how they felt. I can't wait for this stuff to actually go down. And I can't wait till the card is revealed and we bring it to you. Because it's definitely going down. It's already in the works and things taking place right now as we speak. The battle rap community is in for a treat, y'all in for a blessing. And again, a lot of people benefit from this. Everybody can eat. And you know, and if you know anything about the Mayweather money team, that's what their whole thing is about. Making sure everybody eat, putting everybody in a position to win, everybody in a position to earn and make a living legally, to provide and feed your family and loved ones, to do it legally. That's what brothers need to start doing, networking, using these things, coming together, doing things different. It's a lot of money out here for us to legally eat together and not be hating on each other, not be separated and divided because of jealousy and envy and you want to pocket everything and watch everybody sitting at your table watching you eating grub while you just breaking off crumbs and pinching your crumbs around. We don't want your crumbs. We too damn big for crumbs. Crumbs is for mouses. Okay, crumbs is for mouches, mouses and roaches. They love crumbs. They get full off crumbs. A man can't get full off crumbs. You have to give him a plate. You have to really give him something to eat. So shouts out to the Money Team Battle League because they're definitely going down. And I'm just excited for all the participants who are going to be participating in it from here on out that you brothers and sisters can actually make an honest living off battle rap, literally. Again, without having to jump in through these hoops, you know how to go through all that stuff. Six, seven year deals and practices and workouts. Like y'all don't already know what we do. Like you don't know what we bring to the table. That's the purpose of you reaching out to us. You already know what we can do. Only for us to get here and you act like you don't know what we can do. Come on now. We not playing them games. And if y'all don't know by now, and y'all ain't got it, you need to get it. I am the money team blogger. Yep. So you know it's finna go down. And you know we finna come with some drama. And I told y'all I'm finna take it up a notch. So we finna take it up a notch. There's a lot of things going on behind the scenes in the works that I know about that I can't uh, explain and tell y'all about. But one thing for sure, y'all can be on the lookout for. Nothing but the best of entertainment and blogging on a whole nother level is about to take off. Literally. We in positions and we putting people in position. And we welcome anybody who want to support, who want to be a part of the movement and team. And I guarantee you, you're going to enjoy the ride. You're going to enjoy the ride. Because at the end of the day, it's all about unity. It's all about networking, but not forgetting what the task at hand is. And have to make sure that we present to y'all some of the greatest matches put together in battle rap. And that we encourage these battle rappers to give their all so that they can be faithful and committed to the community that built them up to the point that they are household names. 
and that everybody can benefit from these situations, even the consumers, when we're talking about entertainment. We live in a world where there's so much evil and so much hate everywhere you look. The least we can do is give you some type of enjoyment or pleasure and satisfaction of some type of entertainment that can get you through your day where you won't have to worry about so much of the trials of life hitting you all the time. But above all, we can never forget the Lord Jesus Christ who loved you, who died on the cross for your sins, who gave you life. That's where that's where real fulfillment is in. That's where real joy, peace, and love come from. These other things are substitutes, and it can get you by through for a moment. But at the end of the day, true peace, true joy is in the presence of the Lord when you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. I could never, ever forget to tell y'all these things because it's very important. Tomorrow ain't promised to nobody. You can die right now. But you definitely want to make sure your eternal security is secure. Do not sell out to the pleasures and wealths of this world to the point that you sacrifice your integrity and morality. Man be a man. Woman be a woman at all costs. Never sell out your Lord and Savior for the things of this world that God freely gave you. Never do that. Regardless of the circumstances or situation, don't ever do nothing like that. Don't ever do nothing like that. So, shouts out to the Money Team Battle League. It's coming. I will be the blogger of that Battle League. Bringing y'all the best, the realest, funniest, livest, truest blogs that I ever bought you. Yeah, see, we here now. It's time to turn up. See how that works? Stay faithful to God, and he will continue to open up doors for you. Stay faithful to God, and he'll continue to open up doors for you. God will show you who your real friends is. God will show you who really love and support you, who really have your best interests. And when he's showing you your enemies and he's showing you people who mean you no good, take his direction and cut it off. Do not continue to allow people to take advantage of you and misuse you because when God exposed them to you to show you who they really are believe it believe it and you'll be better off stay faithful and he's going to continue to bless you let my life also serve as an example of these things that i'm telling you that's real you know because i find this never selling out god since i've been here i ain't never sold out god but guess what he always continue to bless me, don't he? He always continue to bless me. And now look, I have become the number one blogger of the Money Team Battle League. Ain't that something? See how that work? And because of that, I'm put in a position to bring y'all nothing but the best. To bring you nothing but the best. So we got to take this up a whole nother notch. I'm talking about we got to do different things. We got to do, we got to have more laughter. We got to come with more real stuff. We got, we got to take, look, we got to turn this up then. So I want y'all all to be with us on this ride. And I want y'all to give your input on certain things. We'd we'll love to hear your ideas on building, shaping, and bringing this thing together. Because at the end of the day, it's for y'all. At the end of the day, it's for y'all. So we definitely want to hear from y'all. See, see, we know. It's a lot of things we know. And we could be like other leagues who know but don't care about what y'all say. But that ain't what we want. If you know, always been for the people. Always been for the people. And if you know anything about Mayweather, he always been like 
against the odds. A lot of people, as a result of his outspokenness and his attitude on wanting to do things his way, have put him in a position where he always was his own boss because he refused to let anybody control him. He refused to let anybody uh, 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 take his ideas and visions and plans away as a result of what they want to do. Just like how when you're creating something, when I have a vision, this is my vision. And you can't see my vision the way I see my vision. Just like when others build their thing, it was their vision. And they built and planned and invested on their business or, or, or on their vision to bring it to pass. This is the same way. That's how he's been his whole career. A lot of people didn't want to endorse, put, put big major known endorsements behind him as a result of him being his own man and uh, in, in control of his own destiny and visions. But what happens? He didn't stop it. He just did it his own. I don't need y'all help. I don't need your dollar. I put my own dollar behind my vision. I put my own team and muscle behind my dreams and vision. And it's going to come to pass. And guess what? I found out. Shaking hands with you, it was better off that I didn't shake hands with you. Because now you don't get a part of what I did bring the path that you could have got a part of. So sometimes that's good. A lot of times that's good. When you're able to do it yourself and you can cut out the middleman. And you don't have to give a piece of your heart away to a person who didn't never really believe in the vision and dream. But we don't want that to be the way when it comes to the culture. We want to bring the culture together. We want to hear the people input and we're going to take those things into consideration and you're really going to see your voice mattered. When you got good ideas, iron sharpens iron. And this is how it works. Without the people these businesses don't stand. These businesses don't flourish. That's why at the end of the day, what they always trying to do, trying to get the people to come out of their pocket, trying to get the people to support, trying to get the people to be involved, trying to get the people to believe. Only what? For them not to then care about the people. They say that stuff in the beginning just to get what they want. And after getting what they want, what happens? You forget about the people. We don't want to be that way. Because we don't ever want to forget about who made it possible for us. Never forget where you came from. That's why I thank God and I love the fact that I was poor my whole life. Because being poor taught me how to be humble. It taught me how to understand and have better care for others. It taught me to understand the importance of friendship. The importance of networking. It taught me the importance on how to save and budget. It taught me the importance of how to be careful of how you treat people because you never know. The same people you meet going up, you meet coming right back down. That says a lot. It says a whole lot. With that being said, I'm telling you what's real. and I'm telling you what's true. This battle league that's coming, this money team battle league, I'm telling you what's real. The community is going to be blessed. The battle rappers is going to be put in position. And we want to hold each other accountable. We want to hold the battle rappers accountable. We want to hold the community accountable. And we want to hold the league accountable. We want to hold the league accountable for standing on their words and continuing to try to generate the best talent, the best cards that they can present for the entertainment and love for the battle rap community. We want to hold the battle rappers uh, 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 accountable for appreciating that they don't have to jump through all those obstacles to make a living for their family. So be faithful in the trust that you have been entrusted with when receiving finances to put you in a better position to provide and take care of yourself that helps you in your future to build for your family and children. So be faithful to your craft. Be committed to the task and do 
what your profession requires you to do. Well, the community, we hold the community accountable for actually being supportive, for actually bringing your ideas, and for actually putting yourself in a place to where which your loyalty and your commitment to the family benefits you and pays off in more ways than you could ever imagine. Trust me when I tell you that. Um, I'm excited and we look forward to bringing y'all a lot. And I love the fact that I can be myself without having to sell out, without being controlled, and I can speak and say the things I want to speak and say the things I want to say. And them are the people that I feel comfortable being around. Anybody who accept me for who I am and have no problem with me being who I am. With that being said, it's your boy Battle Truth. It ain't my judgment that's in question, it's yours. I'm going to continue to give y'all updates that I can give you because it's a lot going on that I can't give you. But it's a lot going on that I can give you. So we're going to do this together. We're going to do this together. We finna, we finna reveal some things. We finna bring some things to the format. We finna reveal some things. And the public battle rap community we want to hear your ideas. We do. We're going to take them into consideration because we know a lot of y'all smart, a lot of y'all talented, a lot of y'all gifted. And that's also welcome too. If you have anything to give, your ideas, your advice, feel free to do so. With that being said, it's your boy Battle Truth. It ain't my judgment. That's some question. It's yours. Hit the link in the description box. Subscribe to Battle Truth. Get ready. TMT Money Team Battle League coming this year.